couple details that were confusing folks a little bit. So I need to get this elbow down and clinched out of the way before I hit the ground. If I'm kind of loose with it here, gives him a chance to get out. And then also if I fall, it's kind of stuck at a weird place. So I want to right now hold it down and then fall to the side. Um, so let me show these guys, let's rotate. So one more time, one more quarter turn. <laughs> okay. So clamp it and then fall to the side. Um, guys, the reason I showed one hook in is because someone who's done jujitsu for a little while is going to make it really hard for you to get this other hook in. So if I get a harness, I might be able to get this one in. He's hiding this one. So I'm going to stretch him out. I'm going to stretch him out first and then I can get this guy in. All right. So I can stretch him out with one foot. I can cross. This is even more powerful and arch a hip in. Guys, there's some height differences here. So we need to make sure that we keep our family portrait. So if you fall and your head's way up here, go ahead and scoot it down. Go ahead and just shuffle yourself down a little bit and cross your feet. Make sure you keep head to head. Okay, we don't want him to be way down here. And we've lost our, our head control, our clinch control. So we're gonna line our head up. Make sure we hide that elbow before we hit the ground. Okay, any questions that came up there? Any confusion? confusion? Okay, good. Hopefully most of you have seen that. Yeah. I'm uh, just having a little trouble placing the hook. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you, so you're not trying to keep chest pressure down, right? So uh, when you're climbing onto the rack? Yeah, then when you, you sit them back up. Yeah, so I sit them back up here. And then, like I said, I usually will anchor there, block here so he can't sit out. And then I'll rock him so it makes a little room for my foot. And I'm also, that way I can get light on this foot. So I rock him. Then I step over and then I fall this way. So I put my choking hand foot in first and that way I can fall to that side and stretch him. Okay. When I started working more of this harness, I realized anytime anyone shows them your back, anytime your opponent shows their back, at any point you can grab that harness and take their back. And so everything turns into a back take for me. So if I'm in mount and he turns onto his side, I have a harness and I'm on his back. Okay, if I'm in side control, and he turns away a little bit, come on the back. Okay, if I'm passing, and I get kind of a leg drag and he over rolls. Here, come on the back. I can pass all the way to the back. So once you have that good harness and that head control, you can take the back from everywhere. <laughs> So, um, something for you guys to work on on your own. The most important part is establishing that tight head control and breaking their posture. If you can do that, you can stay there and it opens up all the submissions. So, are there any questions, guys? Yes. I just got one. So, the, the control felt great when I went belly down and circled back around. I grabbed the collar and took the leg but then I had trouble getting back to that same nice posture. Mm -hmm. Is there a, a timing window there or a shortcut for doing that? Or um, you just lose it at that point? The beautiful thing about this is it's not really a timing issue, but it is posture, like a lot of stuff we do in jujitsu. So you still have to keep pretty good posture when you're on his back. So when I come to here, I do need to keep kind of a straight line from my hips to my shoulders. And that's gonna allow me to bend his spine and, and hip into him, get my weight into him. But if I'm kind of crunched, you know, if I'm down like this, or yeah, it just gives him, gives him room and then he can move me around more. So I hip into him a bit. And as I'm falling, you really do need, you know, to get the control right away, you need that hook in, okay? So that hook, and as I'm falling, I stretch him out already, all right? I don't even worry about that top hook. So I'm already breaking his posture on the way down and that'll make it easier. It's less of a fight once you hit the ground. Having this shift over more to this, that's, you're yeah. just setting yourself up for a choke and relinquishing a little control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, it's almost like, I think of it almost like a, like a tie clinch. I'm, I'm hugging him that close. My elbows are all the way in, which is stronger position. I have T-Rex arms, so whenever I can keep my arms in here, it's going to be better for me. Well, it's been an honor to be able to start camp. Thank you guys so much. I'm excited for this. <laughs>